Hi there, today on tdftips.com video I'm going to I'm just going to be doing some exercises for recovery. Uh, I made this video mainly for those people doing um, either one or both of the ETAPS, but these exercises are um, applicable to anyone who's doing a lot of intense riding or any sportives or anything like that, or for those who um, can't or don't go get massage, um, I go get once a week usually, um, but for those who are just um, for whatever reason can't go, these can be used just to loosen up your muscles and um, and help them keep in good condition. But like I said, this is mainly for people doing the tap, so uh, there's a specific focus on that. So firstly, today for, this, for the exercise we want to do, uh, remembering that uh, you probably want to take this stuff overseas with you. Um, I'm going to be using a baseball, you could use a tennis ball, golf ball or um, a spiky ball. I'll put a link to a spiky ball in the post. Uh, two tennis balls inside a sock, um, pretty low tech but it works. Uh, foam roller. I'm not going to use this today, I'm going to actually use a rolling pin, but obviously you don't want to really take that overseas, it's a bit heavy. Uh, you can get these with a, with a bigger diameter and probably half the size and they're much harder. This one's pretty soft, it's like a pool noodle, um, but it can still work. Uh, but you want something a little bit harder to really get into the legs. So Now, um, these exercises I do myself as well, uh, most days or every second day. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you how to do and um, remembering I'm not an expert, but this is what I've been shown by my, my therapist, um, is how to do the ITBs. And the ITBs, especially for cyclists, get really, really sore um, after the attack if you can if you can bear the pain, really get in there because it'll um, help them immensely. So basically, I haven't got a nice mat or anything down because um, it, the rolling pin gets caught up in the mat. That's why I've got compression on as well. So basically, just on the side of the leg. Roll it up and down and you should hit some lumps if your legs are in bad condition like mine are. Did a big run yesterday and they're absolutely painful. And you'll feel little flicks of lumps. Oh, good lord it actually hurts. So you can see I'm not just faking this, it really hurts. Good hurt though. Um, and then you can roll and do your quads as well. Speci um, specifically target down here inside the knee, it gets really lumpy. Um, you can also do inside as well. Um, in the front of the cords and like I said the ITBs and if you want you can roll around as you go and you'll find some more lumps <sighs> basically do that as, as much as you can handle it on, on both legs um, do a couple of sets I guess usually I'll buy it on a towel or something because it hurts so much but afterwards you get like a buzz and it really really feels good um, if you do it too <laughs> if you do it too much you might wake up the next day and not be able to walk quite quite seriously. Um, another thing you can do with the foam roller again or with the rolling pin in this video is your calves so you can sit there and roll them back and forth and also sit up and do your hamstrings which is really good. But the main reason I want to show you that was for the ITVs and the quads because it really really helps. Alright. <coughs> next is the um, next is the two tennis balls in a sock, dirty old sock I've got here. Um, the reason I've got these is because as cyclists, we get really hunched over, and it's the same when you're um, traveling on a plane too, you get hunched in with the seat. So this is actually good to take on the plane. So um, if you're in transit, say in Singapore, if you're coming from the Southern Hemisphere or Australia, um, or wherever it is, uh, and you've got a couple of hours in the airport, hopefully in the Qantas lounge or something, you can um, you can use these to um, loosen up your muscles and really get your, um, get your body in better condition after having come off a long flight. So basically with this, you line it um, with your spine down the middle and just sit there and you breathe in and out and let your back relax across the ball to really um across the balls to really reverse the, the hunching to get your shoulders back so basically just lie flat and you might hear your um vertebrae crack. <coughs> um you can also use one of these which is what I like to use because it gives me a slightly better result than, than that. So actually I might demonstrate with this. They might look a bit weird on the airport floor but who cares? So you just lie there and breathe for a little bit, then roll up a little bit. You can put your arms up and just really stretch out across it. Just work up and down your spine, it's quite good. And like I said before, these can be used on your legs as well. Uh, if you don't want to use a rolling pin, which is pretty hard, these are a little bit softer, so a bit more give. Um, next to baseball, now I really like baseball because you can still do your legs with it and that, that hurts like buggery. Um, it's good for the calves too, so you can roll fine lumps in your legs like I'm doing right now um, and what it's really really good for and what I like to use it for is um, is glutes. I get really sore glute, glute meat up the top and also glute max so 
on the right side in particular. So usually I'll just sit up on it like that and really get in there and I can sit here for ages and do that. And it really, really hurts. So if you're doing a tap this year or a sportive or really just want to look after your body a bit better, I recommend getting um, some of this sort of stuff, particularly a foam roller. Foam rollers are awesome, especially for traveling. Like I said before, they don't have to be this big. They can just be that big. They're light. They fit in your bike bag or your bag if you're not taking a bike. Um, or you can bust it out in the, in the airport um, as well. You can take it on the plane. Baseball or a golf ball or a tennis, two tennis balls are also awesome. So I'll put a link in the post to um, some recovery stuff you can check out uh, if you need to buy anything. Uh, otherwise, like I said, if you, if you don't want to spend money, you don't really don't need to. You can just use a baseball, tennis ball, golf balls or whatever and um, definitely take them on the plane because if you've got a couple of hours in transit, then this stuff's awesome just to loosen your muscles up um, and make you feel better. Okay, thanks for watching.